Hey guys, um, Bassin Adventures here. I'm here to talk about some of my rides that I have. I'm gonna start with, well, they're not really in order, but I'm gonna start with my favorite ride out of all of them. This is my seven foot three Ducky Micro Magic ride with a Shimano Karate seven O to one D ratio. And a bass assault lure jigs. These jigs, they are amazing. That's all I can say about them. They're amazing. I'll catch you so many fish. Alright, the line, the only kind of line, all my rods, all of them, every one of them, even my cheap $20 ones, have vicious fluorocarbon on them. They, it's the best fluorocarbon. I've ever used. I've used Seaguar, Triline. I always go back to Vicious. Vicious is my number one favorite. Alright. This is my Abu Garcia Black Max on a Shimano Convergence rod. Um, this is a Vicious 30 pound uh, braid. This is a uh, little Beaver, um, Vicious also, Vicious, they make great beavers and everything, this is my flipping rod, it's a uh, 7 foot, medium heavy action, it's with an extra fast tip, this is the rod, and once it comes out of uh, flipping season and spawning season, put 12 or 10 pound fluorocarbon, the really good crankbait rod too. All right, mother. Uh, this is one of my favorite. This is a Berkeley Lightning Rod Shock with a Shimano Sitica on it. It has 15 pound vicious fluorocarbon on it. This is a Stank X Bait Comp Company. Um, think I want them. They're called Sticks on their website. I can't decide what I was going to say there. Um. But this is a six foot six medium heavy action. It is a perfect, perfect, perfect Cinco rod. It's just it has a real quick tip on it. It's real great for lightweight baits and everything. It's a good fluke rod also. Um, it's a good crankbait rod too. All right. On to this is my very first bait caster. This is my very first setup I've ever owned. Got it when I was like seven. This is a Zebco 3030 gear ratio 50 to 1. This is a Shakespeare something or another. It's a real cheap rod. But uh, it's a real good crankbait rod. Six foot six medium action with a real fast tip on it. That is the mother of all crankbaits. That is a Rapala Coffin Bill DT3 from Shad Paddle. It is a great creek fishing bait when you're there in the spawning season or anything. It's real good. Um, all right, now I'm on to my favorite spinning rod of the two that I use. I don't use spinning rods very much, but this is a good one. This is a Daiwa Sweatfire um, rod or reel. This is a Shimano Voltes rod. This rod is very sensitive. Has an extra fast tip on it. Hits real good. Best spinner baits. One of the best spinner baits I've ever used. Other than, well, probably the best. Uh, but this is a Stanley one or three three eighteen ounce or a fourth ounce spinner bait in white double willow leaf as a little extra tail. I always have some type of thing <laughs> on like swim bait, anything really, a worm even works on the back 
of my spinner baits just to get more action. Real great. This is spooled with um, 12 or 10 pound vicious fluorocarbon. Real nice, real nice setup. Good for shaky heads and everything. Alright, here's my least favorite rod, per se. Uh, this was my first spinning setup. I've had it for eight years. I've, I lost the cap to the thing. You can see that's a Shakespeare cap. This is a Bass Pro Shop spinning reel on a ugly stick, six foot ugly stick. It gets the job done. That's about the only thing I can say about it. Um, this is eight pound vicious fluorocarbon. Vicious, it's the stuff. Check them out. Um, that is a net bait worm with a tungsten non painted uh, sinker on it. Real good back here in the mucky water and stuff. So, these are all my rods and everything I own. Well, rod part anyway. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up with comments or anything. Um, I'm getting ready to put a couple of pictures of fish that I caught on uh, Stank X bait and um, some of the pictures I've caught on bass assault lures, jigs and stuff. So keep in touch.